Hello everybody, this is David from goldstartool.com. A quick, quick video. I got a chance of putting next two uh, Juchi DDL5550 next to each other. I just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, somebody called me and had a question regarding uh, something with the, uh, with the sewing machine that I want to share this with everybody to make sure you guys know that if you see the machine in this position, there is nothing wrong. Let me just go over it. This is the DDL5550 on the T-leg with wheels. We use the same table, the same motor, the same everything. Now this, we're gonna put a needle positioning on this machine. So this one needed a brushless motor, but this one is a regular servo motor, both table, Juki DDL5550. It's made in Japan. And um, I'm gonna do a very quick video and show you what's happening. So a lot of people call and they say, hey, my machine, the wheel, they call them hand wheel, it's not turning, but it's very hard, especially ladies, okay. There is two things you could do. Number one, make sure the belt is not very tight. The belt should be a springy, meaning that when you put the belt from here to the motor, it should be springy be able to, shouldn't be so tight. If you lose that, it helps a lot. If for any reason your belt is too small, these machines, the motors are adjustable. Meaning, come down here, so I'm gonna show it to them. You see this? Excuse the mess in the back. You see this one right here? You could lower this one and the motor come all the way this way. And when you have like half an inch to, four, to three quarter of an inch play with. And if you want to go, you have a big belt, large belt, you could open this up and push it back. Okay, while we're here, this is where you could adjust the speed. I know I did many videos on this, but I'm adjusting, you know. The other one is a brushless motor, and that's uh, because we are going to put a needle positioning on that one, And but everything else is the same. Everything else is 100% the same. Look at the table made by new tech, everything is like, okay, now, while I'm here, I'm gonna also, we're gonna do a quick video about judgment. Uh, you have to do a very good close up, okay. okay? So people, a lot of people also tell me they wanna know how. Okay, so, thread stand, what, one thread here to the, uh, uh, bobbin winder ten tension to the bobbin and I have, I've done a video on that one. I'll do that one too today if you want, but here. Yeah. So, uh, your thread here through this hole, skewed the sound, the noise in the background. You, When you receive the machine, you don't have this one on the machine. You just get it from the tool. Put it in, bang it in. Two, one, this is, inside the first hole coming up now a lot of people do a different way and they come and say the way you're doing it is wrong and it's okay do it the way you think is right i mean you could go from left to right or yeah yeah Jasmine, why did you do that? <laughs> One more time. Through the hole inside the tension coming down. Right here. We're gonna go to the thread guy. In, out. My hand might be in the on the way, please let me know if it is so I could. And you guys at home are gonna have a much easier time because my hands are big, okay? Now, inside here. Inside the tension, here. All the way up, full circle. And then bring it back down. 
it has to be springy like this when you go be beneath the fork up through the take up and down you see now when you pulling it hold on give me one second when you pull it I want I want to see this one. It, the, this is the tension spring. See when you pull this down, I'm pulling the thread down. See how this should be playing. So whenever you want tighter, righty tidy, lefty loosey. Comes through this guide right here. Another guide down here. Okay. I'm gonna put it up. Okay. Guess what? I don't have a thread color. Through this one, another thread color. You, it's, Twitter is a must. Down. Okay. And, okay, so I got my scissor. Put my glasses on. Put the light in. Again, a tweezers are must and light from left side to right side in pull okay now you get here so people are complaining when we pull the thread doesn't come i know why because number one this might be tight number two the thread is in the tension guide so what you do is the easiest way to do this is to let me just start showing. So now a lot of people also tell me, so this is the back foot lifter, and you have the knee lifter right here, when you do knee lift, knee lift. Okay, now, come close. When you do knee lift, this will add, you see all of this? Mm -hmm. Releases the thread, meaning that now you could easily pull the thread out. Okay, so whenever you stop, and I'm gonna do it, let me get some fabric right here. Let's go. I'm gonna do knee lift. The thread is already up. Okay, put it back here. Now, start sewing. See how quiet it is. Okay, I'm gonna do this really left. Go. Now I wanna take this out. People are saying, hey, this is too tight. Okay. Put your knee here on the knee lifter. Okay? And then just play with this back and forth. It easily comes out. You cut. Now, let's say if your needle is down. And now you want to pull the needle out and there's nothing in there. And this is tight and you try the belt. You want to release that tension. Put your feet, go down quarter of, a quarter of an inch pressure on here. Not to start the sewing machine. Just there and then it will work very easy. But when you want to pull the thread out, when you want to pull the thread out, and you're done, now you want to pull it out, knee lift, pull this out, like this, and pull it out. You see, it releases it. And then you get beautiful, beautiful, just couple of quick po points on how to, um, and if you give me one second, one, I'm gonna get another corner thread. We have million, million corner thread here. Let me just get another. So, here, for the thread, bobby winder, thread through here, all the way down, okay, through this hole, 
to the tension, then all this tension that you see here, there's a purpose for them. So if you want the bobbin to be tighter, you just, okay, here, pull down, right? And when you push this down, this thing is going to work. You see? I'm going to adjust it. Can you do close up, please? More close up. I want them to see how much. Right? You see how much it goes back and forth? And when we get to a point, it stops. That's it for now. David at goldstartool.com. Make sure you have all the tools if you want to. Don't throw this away. We call this umbrella. Don't throw it away. Don't throw this away. Magnetic. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. DavidGoldStarTool.com.